Shane Paul Gibson. We are the End Time Preachers. We're going to bring some thoughts to you here in this sermon called The Plastic Kingdom. Uh, the, the word comes from Daniel. Shane will be giving you the words. Down, Daniel chapter 2. If you have a King James Bible, you can turn to there and look at it. Check us. Make sure we're telling you the truth. But I've been thinking about this last kingdom that was seen in Nebuchadnezzar's statue was made out of miry clay and iron. It was a mixture of two different things. Every one of them uh, has not been a mixture, but the last one is. So we know what the iron is. The iron is the Roman Catholic Kingdom. That was the iron legs of the statue. And I'm fixing to th tell you what I think the miry clay is and what the mixture comes to and what's derived from it. So if you will, Shane, take us uh, in, into God's Word. We'll go to the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 31 through 35. Thou, O king, sawest, and behold, a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, and break them to pieces. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together, and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors, and the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. What you have here on the statue, uh, Teresa will also, or Heather, put on the chart showing you the statue. You have gold at the top. Gold, that was Nebuchadnezzar. You'll find out he said, Thou, king, art thy, thy head of gold. After Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar took over, but it's still uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom. And the Medes and the Persians came in, Darius, Darius and Cyrus, uh, two arms. And they were the silver. One, two, Darius and Cyrus. Then you come on down the next uh, kingdom you have is Alexander. And that's the brass kingdom, Alexander the Great. Supposed to have come from, he said his daddy was from Jupiter and he died at 33 and a half years old mysteriously. Now that bird may even come back, who knows, but he won't be on the right side. Now he won't be on our side. Then you go down to the Iron Kingdom. That's the Roman Catholic. Everybody knows that. Uh, you have two legs. One was the Eastern Division. One was the Western Division. Then you come right on down to the, the last kingdom, which will be the very last one, which we are today. It's a mixture of miry clay and iron. Well, we've done established that the iron is Roman Catholic, so who is the miry clay? Shane's going to take you over here in Genesis, Genesis chapter 16, verses 11 and 12, to show you who I think the miry clay he's talking about, who, who, what the people are. There's also a footnote, uh, footnote 4 in the Ruckman Reference Bible. He's going to read that for you. So uh, take note of this. Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 and 12. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. And he will be a wild man, and his hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. So you think you're really going to fight this guy or make peace with this guy? What does the Bible say? Take God's word for it. Also, footnote 4 here at Shane is fixing to read will shed a little bit more light on it by Dr. Ruckman. This verse recorded by Moses around 1500 B.C. defines exactly, scientifically, and forever the stereotyped Muslim. History confirms the stereotype to the last letter through more than 1300 years of history between AD 650 
and 2005. There are two dozen histories of the Arabs available. Every one of them confirms the, t confirms the stereotype. The Jew has never been the cause of any trouble in the history of the Arabs from A.D. 650 until 1921 after the Balfour de Declaration was made. Up to that time, Muslims have been killing, assassinating, mutilating, attacking, imprisoning, and cursing Muslims and anti-Muslims for over a thousand years. The only reason Israel has not been pushed back into the Mediterranean Sea as far back as 1948 is because Ishmael's descendants are so taken up with stealing and killing each other while shacking up with four to twelve women that they can't get along with themselves. This is well known to every historian. For 132 pages documenting the truth of Genesis 16:12, obtain the doctorate work by Robert A. Morey, 2002, winning the war against radical Islam. Okay, that's who I think it is, the Myri Clay. Uh, what do you get from Myri Clay? What do they have over there in their land? So much of oil, oil. Uh, guess what? Plastic is derived from petroleum products. That's why I call ourselves the plastic generation. Shane is going to go over here to another footnote that will tell you about like the statue of gold started, uh, the head started with gold on the statue, ended up with iron and miry clay. Derivative of gold would be plastic. He's going to show you the coinage and the value of the, the thing in the United States and how we've degenerated. Darwin was a nut. We're going down. Check this out. Daniel chapter 2 verses 32 and 33 are Darwin in reverse. They present the history of the Gentile nations as 100% degeneration. The metals decline in value and in weight, making the image top heavy. The specific gravity of gold is 19.3, of silver 10.4, of brass 8.4, of iron 7.03, of clay 1.8. Interestingly enough, the decline in value of the image's metals matches the devaluation of American currency in the 20th century. The coins went from gold, Woodrow Wilson, to silver, FDR, to brass and copper, Lyndon Johnson, and then to nickel and zinc, Reagan. And you know what we got? Everybody's in dead head over heels. They're into the plastic. So now, let's not forget the stone, the capstone, the rock, the stone cut out without hands that comes down and smashes into the feet of this miry clay and iron mixture. So it's, it's coming today. That stone is the rock. It is Jesus Christ. It ain't Dwayne Johnson. It is Jesus Christ, the rock. And that rock, Jesus Christ, is fixing to come down on this miry clay and iron mixture and grind it to powder. Uh, coming soon. And I'm one that will be overjoyed to see the King of Kings get what he deserves. The Lord of the Lords, the one that suffered, bled, and died for us. Uh, speaking of people that bled and died for us, that brings me to uh, an event we have coming up. Shane's going to tell you about it. He's going to tell you the date and all, and uh, I'll give you a little information on the speakers. Well, uh, the name of the event's called Warriors for Veterans. It's October 5th. It's going to be down here at the Shackle Island Fire Hall. And it's basically going to be a benefit to raise money for the Sumner County Veterans Homes. We're trying to raise money and help out these poor old soldiers that gave their life for this country. So come on out. And there's going to be a poker run, a live auction, a uh, raffle, and of course there's going to be bands. Uh, there's going to be the Gibsons, us, of course, playing, Surrender, and uh, Eden Sway, also the speakers. The speakers are going to be uh, U.S. Representative Diane Black, uh, State Representative Courtney Rogers. Uh, we're going to have uh, Sumner County Executive Anthony Hold, and a dear friend of mine, Pastor Sheepdog, Rick Arrington. He's coming from North Carolina. We got people coming from Florida, 
We got people coming from Kentucky, North Carolina, maybe even South Carolina, Georgia, and uh, these people are dedicating their time. Uh, all all proceeds will go to veterans. I ask that you come and stay all day. Support the ones that drove to be a part of this event. Surrender from Blue Ridge, Georgia. Eden's Way from Knoxville, Tennessee. Prayer Warriors, East Tennessee. Come and support uh, our veterans and come and support the Gibsons and these people that will spend their time to support them. Anything you want to add to that, Shane? That's all I can say. Uh, we have a poker run. It start. It be there at eight thirty for registration. The first twenty uh, to sign up for the poker run gets a free event shirt from Brother Steele. It's going to be a great ride. We planned it out. There'll be a bake sale, and once again, I'd like to thank all the people that have helped us out. People that God bless y'all. Thank you.